just need to figure out what door this key opens. It has to be somewhere around the temple. We can open that big door anytime we want. Let's explore. Oh yeah, I can translate this now. Nifelheim, land of fog and fortune. Hey, nobody mentioned fortune. We should go there sometime. Read it. Yes, sir. I can read these now. It says Muspelheim, the fire realm, is the gauntlet of the sewer chair. Like a magic glove? Or a series of dangers. We should go see sometime. Our young god knows no fear.
I'm glad Brock and Sinji were able to work out their differences. Now they are twice as irritating. Ah, oh, I think it's nice to see them trust each other again. Namir, why did you say Tyr felt responsible for what Odin did to the Giants? There was an incident shortly after the forging of Mjolnir, when Tyr arranged a diplomatic meeting between Odin and the Giant Kings. Well, this was when the Long War was young, and victory was still a thing dreamed of, and the Jotnar might have tipped the balance between Aesir and Vanir. Odin had persuaded Tyr that the hammer was merely a deterrent, a means to broker peace from a position of strength. Tyr was hopeful to convince all parties that would prosper best through peace. He knew the Giants were deeply concerned about the hammer, a super weapon in hand they did not trust, but they trusted Tyr. Tyr always believed the best in people, and taking Odin at his word in his desire for peace, he brought the Raven King to Jotunheim. Uh, from there, things unraveled quickly. The Giants anticipated Odin's trickery and exposed his true agenda to spy and steal their secret wisdom. With magic, they expelled Odin from their realm and cursed him never to return. Frustrated, Odin visited his fury upon the giants of Midgard. Thor unleashed Mjolnir's might upon any giant he could find. None could stand against the tide of slaughter that followed. And at last, it seems, with Tyr's aid, they retreated. The tower disappeared, no giants could be found in Midgard, and no man nor god has set foot in Jotunheim since. Another name. Hilder! Why the arcane runes? Perhaps we're meant to find something in Muspelheim and Niflheim.
another name. Gooner. What happened to the city? I'm not entirely sure, lad. It was abandoned long before Jormungandr came to town and flooded the place. Hmm. I wonder what it was like to live here. Another name. Ulra. Hmm. Huh. That's all the ones I see. How are we supposed to light the braziers on a tower that's not there? told us what Magni and Modi had to do with Hrungnir. Oh yes! Well, what happened after Hrungnir fell slain upon Thor was that nobody in the court could get the stone body off of him. Thor was no use at this point. His brain rattled, his breath shallow. But none of Odin's men were nearly strong enough to help. Then enter little Magni and Modi. No taller than shrubs. And while nobody but myself was looking, they flipped over Hrungnir's corpse and freed their father. Magni, being blonder, got all the credit, and Modi remained bitter about it from that day to the end, which I don't need to tell you about.
Atreus, here! Yes, father! Boy. It says, Glory to Motsignir, the Dwarf King. May his reign be long, prosperous, and filled with peace. Greetings, and welcome to Conan's Guard. I just want to make sure you're good and prepared before heading in any further. There's all manner of nastiness left over from the Mad Dwarf King's foul practices. What kind of practices? Oh, various... sacrificing, dark enchantments, blood, magic, and so forth. Quite common among the older dwarves, unfortunately. Old habits are hard to break. Whoa. Look, it's another dragon. I see it, boy. Chain. I hope we can find the binding shrines. This place is huge. The Dwarf King captured more than one dragon. He must have needed them to create this legendary armor. Interesting thought, lad. And it makes sense. Nearly everything about dragons is useful and contains power. Teeth, scales, even excrement. Excrement? Uh, shit. Dragon shit is powerful? My lad, more powerful. Ned is having fun with you. Oh, I, I knew that. Up, boys. Yeah. <laughs> 
Joseph. That's an impressive front door. These materials must be pretty special to make a legendary armor. This legendary armor better be worth the trouble. But if Brock and Sindri make it together, I'm sure it's worth the effort. Don't you trust them at least? I trust you, Atreus. I do not trust the legend. Oh. Looks like it needs three entry stones.
Be ready. Another dragon. I see it, boy. Chain. I hope we can find the binding shrines. This place is huge. Stone number two. This place is even bigger than Vadergar. Yes. The dwarf king's reach appears vast. Wonder what happened to him. It is a great mystery, even amongst the sons of Ivaldi. Mozognir's behavior before his disappearance grew increasingly erratic. Why? The Devegrath Eker, the very armor you find yourself searching for. Though he found two, I'd wager his failure to find the third ingredient drove him to madness. Still won't open? Looks like we need three.
ways to find out, but they're rather messy. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter. are done here. Look here. Sir. Hmm. This is good to know.
the Dwarf King want this armor so badly? What's so special about it? There are many legends behind the debate, Grafita. A suspicious amount of legends, which makes confirming anything about this particular armor difficult. But the one constant among them is the ability of the armor to offer ultimate protection. A useful attribute for an unpopular king, you see. Yet this plagued land is all that remains of him. This is why you do not trust legends, boy. Well, what can you trust? Yourself, your eyes, your instincts. Blind trust in a legend is a gamble. Rarely does it pay off. Enjoy freeing them. Well, yeah. It still seems like the right thing to do. Here we go! Huh. It's kinda run down in here. What did you expect? I don't know. Less ruin, I guess? Maybe the throne room's in better shape. Another one here. Starkather. Wow. That's a lot of arms. That's fair to say. Six? Seven? Eight? Could he shoot four bows at once? More of a swordsman. He did only have the two eyes. It looks like Thor cut him down to size. It's what he does. Do you hear that? No. What do you hear, boy? Crying. And screams. Large crowd of people. Ah, uh, just old spirits, I suppose. Leftover victims of the Mad Dwarf's reign. Still, that's rather ominous. They're getting louder. They sound almost like... Help! 
There's a passage behind this throne. A secret passage? Well, wouldn't be a proper throne room without a secret passage. The things you pulled from him. Those must be the three mythical ingredients Brock was talking about. I can say with utmost certainty that I've never laid eye on a stranger set of objects in my life. How are Brock and Sindri supposed to build with... whatever they are? Don't count the dwarves out, lad. They're right pricks, but they're resourceful. They once made an unbreakable chain out of little more than a cat's footstep and bird spit. That doesn't even make sense. Well, that's the legend. If you wanted sense, you shouldn't be talking to a severed head.
wonder what this place looked like in better times. Conan's guard was a beautiful land in its heyday. Before the Dwarf King's obsession poisoned his mind. How could he let that happen? The Dwarf blindly trusted in the legend and pursued it without thought to the consequences. This is the result. Trust is a gamble. Like you said, and the Dwarf King lost. Confused. I always heard that Baldur's mother was Frigg. Aye, Frigg. Well, that's more of a pet name, you see. It means beloved. Something Odin called Freya after they wed. Out of affection at first, or so I like to believe. As things turned sour, it became a way to manipulate the truth. How so? Odin didn't want Freya, a Vanir goddess, getting credit for anything in Asgard. So anything worthy she accomplished was attributed to Frigg. Like being Baldur's mother. That's right! Freya was Baldur's mother all along. <sighs> you boys look right beaming. Well, the squirt does. Can't see squat behind that furzel fuzz you call a beard. We found the materials. But they're so weird. How do you build a piece of armor out of something so... so... Nanya. Nanya? Nanya fucking business. Trade secret. We get our ways. Oh. else we can do for you? Nah, just glad you guys worked it out. Ah. Well, I could say the same to you. Ha! Huh. I guess I was getting a bit full of myself. Told him what he needed to hear, how's it sounds to me. Just the same. I'm sorry for how I spoke to you, Sindri. You forgive me? Already have. Like you said, it all worked out. Now, let us get back to work before I get... Sentimental. Better not be fighting with your brother again. Just because he's gotten a little less annoying over the years doesn't mean I ain't got a customer base of my own to keep happy. Oh, yeah? Who's that? Well, you came back here, didn't you? Fair point. What'll it be?
Yeah, check back soon. <laughs>